Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to the snow tomorrow. As you guys can see, based off of this, it's going to be like in the negative degrees. So I'm going to freeze my butt off, my little Arizonian self. And yeah, I'm going to pack right now. Um, I leave tomorrow. And pretty much, I'm just going to like chat with you guys and pack. So without further ado, let's get on into packing, which I really hate so much and it's running my butt off. This is definitely one of my new favorite jackets. It's like I am a cotton ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, um, my suitcase is back behind all of those suitcases. So, that's great. That is called me really struggling over here. So I do this disastrous thing, which is probably going to give you guys all like anxiety, but I just literally throw the clothes out from my closet. And then I, from there I pack and I decide like what I actually want. Somehow this is the fastest way that I pack. I don't really know if it makes sense. I'm surprised I do it because I'm usually like a neat freak. So I'm going to Colorado with my mom. It is going to be very fun. I'm super excited. Uh, me and my mom try to get like once a year a good Trippin', we went to the beach last year, so this year we're going to the cold, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty good in the cold, like I really am. She, however, is the biggest wimp ever when it comes to the cold. So, that should be interesting. It's supposed to be in like the negatives and such, so <laughs> yeah, that's great. Typically, I pick up on things pretty fast, like I can pick up on bike, mountain biking, and like sports, and just things like that. However, for some reason, I am just so stinking bad at winter sports. Like, I am so bad at skiing, and it kind of frustrates me. But I don't know. I'm just like, I'm so bad at it. My brothers pick, pick everything up so quickly. Just immediately, they're like, okay, I'm perfect. I'm good at this. I've got this. And I'm just like, why can't I figure out how to ski? Okay, so I literally have no clue what to talk about, and I don't want this video to be pointless and boring. So I'm going to talk about a question that I get asked a lot. And that is how to deal with negative people, negative things that happen in your life and such, and just how to stay motivated and self-confident and happy and such. So I'm going to talk about that while I finish packing. I know it's a lot easier said than done, however, um, I'm still personally working on it, but the main thing that I truly think to maintaining self-confidence, happiness, and just continuing down your own path towards success and such is simply just focusing on yourself and not letting other people bother you. There are always going to be negative people in your lives. There's always going to be negative things in your life happening. No matter where you are in your life, there's always going to be people trying to get you down. It does not matter if you're a billionaire. It does not matter if you are at the top of your business. There's always going to be people trying to knock you down, trying to demotivate you, trying to hurt your feelings. It's just the weird human way of making people feel better. Sometimes people need to shit on other people to make themselves feel better, which is such a warped Thing to think about however it's the reality of it so for me I just really try to focus on myself focus on my goals and just remember what I want to achieve is so much 
bigger than the little things people are saying, the little things people are talking behind my back about me and such. It just really does not matter. And then the second part to that point is try to only surround yourself with positive people. You want to be around people that make you feel good, that motivate you, that make you feel good about yourself and want to continue down your path because they make you trust it more. Don't rely on these people to do all those things for you. Don't rely on these people to make you happy. However, you want to surround yourself with people that are going to help you, not hurt you. But um, there's always going to be situations where you have to be with crappy people. And when that situation comes, simply just, again, focus on yourself. Don't let other people bother you. Whether that means just full on leaving the situation, exiting the room, if that means simply not talking to them, if that means, I don't know, whatever it means for you. Just overall, to stay happy, to stay self-confident, to stay motivated, to stay on your own path of success, you need to focus on yourself and not give a crap about what other people are saying. No matter where you are in your life, there's always going to be some negative person, some negative thing happening, and you cannot let that demotivate you and bring you down and make you stop what you are doing. Focus on yourself no matter what, and you will eventually be successful, or at least that's what I tell myself, that's what I try to follow. I'm still young, I have a long ways to go, but that is what I'm trying to um, like shape my life as, trying to grow up into rather than being someone that worries about what everyone says and such, which is very easy for me to fall into that pattern, especially being a dancer and such, because you know we're judged, we're always critiqued and everything, and it's so easy to just let that kind of ruin you. However, um, I have pretty tough skin, and I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't care. It does not matter what other people are saying. I know if I keep doing what I'm doing, it will eventually work. And that's really the biggest thing. But, um, yeah, I have my snow boots that I wear an average of probably every year and a half. So, that's great. Um, and now it's time for toiletries. Wow, I really just, like, changed my wave very quickly. But, yeah, I hope that brought a little bit of purpose to this video. I, I hate making videos that bring no entertainment, no message or anything to you guys so I hope that helps. You no, know, honestly I think I'm just gonna end the video here because I don't have anything exciting to show you guys. And yeah guys, uh, tomorrow I am filming the 10 hour car ride with my mom and if you guys know my mom, you would know that she's a very p funny person, especially when we're together. I love you, please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that fun stuff. If you've never watched any of my videos, please watch better one than this, but yeah guys, I love you and I'll see you soon.